More good news about Rashida Tlaib, who hates Jews and hates Israel. She belongs to a secret Facebook group, apparently for six years, that is spewing out horrible hatred about Israel. We have the proof. Your favorite congresswoman, who is... A ding dong extraordinaire. Oof. This is her and one of her happy faces. It's been revealed by both the New York Post and Fox News that this is Rashida Tlaib, obviously, that she's part of a private Facebook group that has glorified and continues to glorify Hamas. You can't access the group unless you're a member. Apparently, somebody at Fox News signed up and got in and saw her name as a secret member. She's been a member of this group for six years. Fox News has screenshots of the secret Facebook page that showed Rashida Tlaib's personal membership there. The post mocked the hostages taken by Hamas. It accuses of Israelis of not being populated by Jews that are real. It says the Holocaust never happened. It says Jewish people are satanic and they've raised money this group, especially the leader of the group, Mayor Abdel Kadar, has raised money for this beautiful Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib. They published just today, From the River to the Sea, Palestine Will Be Free. They, picture, they posted a, a picture of one of the captives, an old Israeli lady, and they say, this was the caption, we don't wanna throw you into the sea, we want you to ride it back from where you came. And then another post talks about photos of the Hamas terrorists that took the hostages and brags about their achievements. This is a member of Congress. She just got censored, censured, I should say, for her anti-Semitic speech. I don't consider it enough. There's so much hate coming out of her mouth that she doesn't deny she didn't respond to questions from Fox about being in this group because it's her private account. What say Will Johnson? I know I've known of pro-American Facebook pages to not post anything violent. And sometimes they, they get a little close to it but not actually say attack anyone call for the death or anyone, but they're primarily just supporting America and possibly Trump in there a little bit. Right. Those groups get removed and blocked and banned and deleted. But here in this case, they're openly in this group supporting Hamas, the destruction of Israel and they hate America, Barry, but that was perfectly fine. And just because it's a private group doesn't mean anything when it comes to Facebook. Facebook still monitors all of the groups, everything that you're saying inside of these groups. So if you create a group thinking that it's just going to be for the people that's watching, that's in the group, no, it's for the people in the group and Facebook. Whoever in Facebook want to go in there and look at it, they can. So they had to have known that this was going on. They had to have known that they were saying all these hateful things for the longest, Barry. They had to have known, but they did nothing. They said nothing, and they allowed it to fester. Now, I, this is the first time I've heard that they actually, that someone from Fox News got in, got in, you know, got into the group. Did they not vet the person first? And I'm pretty sure they're look, go, going through all of it right now, trying to figure out who that person is so they can remove it. Or they probably have since then suspended the account. I would imagine that they suspended the page so no more posts or anything can go on it, but the damage is already there. They already got all the goods. This should call for grounds of expulsion to her. Oh, it yeah. Should, they're gonna it, they're gonna they're gonna throw out this this crazy Republican guy from New York. Yeah, they want to throw him out. Santos. And and, and, and Santos. they did vote to it. They did Santos. Good boy. Good for uh, your your memory's much better than mine. <laughs> you remember everything. It was on the tip of my tongue, everything. I was trying to get it to come out. You, you remember all the names. Uh, you're right. George Santos is going to be expelled um, for all kinds of violations. And he's done nothing compared to your Rashida Tlaib. 
and AOC. Yeah. Fire and Ilhan Omar. Omar. Yeah. All of I them. mean, Ilhan I mean, Omar, boyfriend, brother, husband, that, all mixed that, into that one her, thing. You mean the, the, she married her, her brother, actually, for her citizen. Right. Right. Yeah. And then her, her, her boyfriend with this firm, supposedly a security firm, pouring money into him. I mean, really? It's all yep. they're embezzling money right there, but they go after him because he's a registered Republican. Exactly. Democrats and, and, can do this. And by the way, he's a bad dude. Okay. He really is. But the Democrats have nothing to they got a dozen of them, right? A dozen George Santos is only worse.